Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and we're here with a new art book review. So uh, today we're going to be looking at the art of the Steven Universe movie, right? I'm uh, I'm pretty excited to be looking at this. I actually haven't really looked much into this book, um, but before we start the video, please uh, hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, really help out the channel, right? Um, but yeah, back to Steven. Uh, I I'm a huge fan. Of Steven Universe, um, if it hasn't been evident enough in my previous reviews, uh, I know there's a lot of there's a lot of like you know, ooh Steven, you know, like you know, it's really popular now. Um, the style is being used all over the place, but I think the show itself, um, if you take it as it is, it's a fantastic show with a a lot of great characterization and a lot of great moments in the show. Um, it's very, it's a, it's inspired, right? And I think the movie is really uh, a real high point in the show. I think it's the highest point of the show. Uh, kind of really like put everything together into like a neat package into a very, very, very nice movie. Um, I really, really enjoyed the movie. I think Spinell was a really great addition to the cast. Um, honestly, I if, if the show just ended with the movie, I would have been very satisfied, right? Um, the, the last season, honestly, kind of felt a little unnecessary to me, you know, as a viewer. I think the movie did a real good job. They showed Steven while he was a little bit more grown. They could have just ended it there. Uh, but they, they had that extra season where it, it kind of meanders a little bit, and I don't know. I just think that, to me, it's like, like, kind of like Spongebob, right? Uh, the, the, the movie, the Spongebob movie, is, to me, where the, where just, that's it. That's the end. You know, that was the high point. You're done. Right? And that's kind of how I feel about Steven. Because, like I said, I was the biggest fan of the last season. Um, they had some neat stuff, but at the very end, I, like, I like the ending, but, like, the, the whole, like, you know, conflict and payoff was, it was alright. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's okay. Right? But the movie, oh, man. The movie was fantastic, man. Uh, a real, real high point. A great way to end it. But uh, they didn't do it. But <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, I'll give you some of my thoughts about Steven, right? Let's, uh, let's, let's stop wasting time and just jump right into this. All right, here we go. Created by Rebecca Sugar. Edited and designed by Ryan Sands. Commentary by Rebecca Sugar, Kat Morris, and Takafumi Hori. There we go. Front back cover by Rebecca Sugar. Inside and and front inside front and back cover art by Kat Morris. Okay. We've got some uh, cute little drawings right here. Spinel, you know, couple uh, frames with Steve and all the others. All right. So, um, I'm not going to read all of the, the text right here. Uh, if you guys want to read it, you can grab the book yourself. We're just going to look at the art of this book. And uh, here, you know, you get this, these nice curtains, right? And then... Ooh. Is this the World War Spinel was? I'm not sure. So, I'm pretty sure this has to do, this is probably Rebecca, and she's just doing some, like, you know, initial concept art for, for the world, right? We have the frame where we could see all, all three of the, um, the diamonds up there, right? Doing their thing, right? They've, they've, they talk to Steven, everyone's happy, you know. <clears throat> yeah. This is pretty cool. <clears throat> I like the shapes right here. Very strong shapes. I like how they um, they they do traditional medium, right? And it's these are very very simple, but you you understand what's going on because they they use you know the powerful shapes, right? It's like you know you know they could draw, obviously. Here we go. Look at that. 
So, let's see. We have the initial drawing by Rebecca, <clears throat> and then, let's see, the refined drawing by, um, Danny, Cra Danny Craig. Yeah. But uh, I, I like how this movie is a musical. Like, um, this, that, to me, that's, like, huge, right? Because uh, I, I'm a huge fan of musicals, and um, the fact that this entire movie is very, like, music-based, it's, like, it's just so, it's just, like, so Steven and so wonderful. Uh, I just, I just, I love it, man. I love it so much. Look at that. We got the, we got that book. Very nice. We have some music sheets, right? With the, uh, you know, the voice lines right here. There you go. Some some notes about like you know maybe some of the initial things uh, or, or, or initial thoughts about the music. There we go. And now we're we're getting into the uh, the meat here. There you go. Steven Universe, age sixteen. All right. So yeah, you can see uh, Steven's redesign. He has the the jacket and the blue shirt beneath, right? See, uh, it's kind of funny because in the new one, Steven has the black shirt, but in the movie, he has the blue shirt, which is like, to me, it's like, this is the proper Steven, right? I, I really like the blue shirt underneath. It's it's just, uh, there's just this really nice, uh, these no nice color notes, you know what I mean? Yeah, beautiful. Here we go, we have little different poses right here. Uh, we have that signature uh, post-it note style that uh, that Rebecca loves so much. Uh, you know, when you have a mistake, just put a post-it note over it, right? And redraw it. Um, that, that, there's kind of like a freedom to that. It, it's it kind of gives this really nice, um, uh, very like hodgepodge look, right? But not hodgepodge, but it's like a it feels very, uh, like, paper craft, you know what I mean? Like, arts and crafts kind of thing, right? Yeah. Except, okay, this is, like, why do they always fucking do this, man? They always put shit in the binding without... Look at this, I can't even see Steven's face right here. You only see, like, half, right? They're gonna, they're gonna lose some points for that, but, oh! Look at that, we got Steven, we got Amethyst, and my girl, dude. My girl Pearl, bird mom, dude, love her, dude. Okay, Pearl, she's my favorite character. Okay, I love her. I'll tell you right, I'm gonna tell you that right now. <clears throat> Man, I missed the show. Like you know, so, like sometimes I be feeling down. You know, life's got you down, bro. Okay, and then I watch some Steven. Okay, and I'm like, you know what, dude? All that muck just goes away, bro. Just, <laughs> Just melts away because I'm like, you know, what, dude, uh, Steven, dude, he's fighting, dude. Okay, he's got his his family, dude. You know, and and there's some real. I should just rewatch the show, man. Honestly, I would love to rewatch the show because, uh, oh my goodness, I remember like back in the day, I used to show this show to like so many people, um, like a lot of skeptics, right? And I and I'd see their transformation into Steven lovers, you know, and they're like. This show, like, cause, you know, before, I used to judge the show a lot. You know, I used to be like, you know, oh, dude, dude what's this, what's this kitty-ass show with this annoying, uh, protagonist, right? Uh, and, 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 like, these weird, you know, uh, uh, weird-shaped, uh, gem, like, alien girls, right? Like, the skinny girl is like, oh, body positivity, all that bullshit, right? You know, and I'm like, uh, it's not that, man. It's just a really fucking nice show. You know what I mean? about a, what do you call it, a war orphan, right, living with his uh, impromptu family, uh, facing off the ramifications of his uh, his mother's warlord crimes, dude. Yeah, dude. And, uh, you know, what's better than that? Here we go. I love Connie's uh, space outfit. Yeah, it, it makes sense, you know, and I, I, I like, I like slightly grown Connie as well. I think she's, she's pretty great. Look at her. Oh, one thing I hate about the, the, the newest season is that I felt like 
Connie was acting uncharacteristically uncaring of Steven. And I'm like, I think she would notice all of Steven's little things, right? Yeah, look at that. She's got her space suit, right? She's got... Is that the scabbard? I think it, it should be the scabbard, but I don't see the sword. I'm not sure. Look at her, dude. Look at Connie, dude. So cute, right? I love them together, man. They're just... Real, real nice couple, right? Same height, Steven's hair is taller. Okay. Just ever so slightly taller. And, you know, she's one of those characters that I feel like, you know, would actually enjoy going to space camp. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a lot of characters that are forced into it, and it's like, this person's not a space person, but I could totally see Connie doing that. There we go. Use jacket and collar to describe neck while keeping Steven's signature blocky silhouette. Okay. Teen Steven, next extravaganza, right? Yep. Because my boy, look at that. He's got a fucking neck. There he is, dude. Look at that, bro. Damn. And these drawings, they have such a nice... They have a nice energy about them and such really great shape language. Yeah. So nice. Oh, dude. Rebecca Sugar 2017. Has it been that long? There we go. All right, so now we're getting into some storyboards. Look at that. See, you know what's great about these characters? You can tell who they are just by their shapes. Very easy to see. Ooh, look at that. It was so cute. Oh my god, dude. Look at Pearl, dude. She, ah. Oh. Ooh. Good, 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 good. Steam is running, running. You know how it is. And then, boom, the title screen. We're the crystal gems, bitch. Okay, you know how it is. Oh my goodness. This is just hitting my, my nostalgia, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. Uh, we have the design of uh, Spinel's uh, toxin injector or whatever. Yeah. Look at that. It's like, a, it's, it's like a diamond with a heart on top. Look at that. And like I said, dude, very simple designs. You know what I mean? Just very shape-based. Um, but it, the, the ideas come through, right? It's simple, it's effective, and it works. What more can you ask? Look at that. This actually looks like a... Like from this angle, it looks like a like a Japanese uh, coloring because they, they like to, you know, like for animation, uh, have things colored out in in a certain way. All right? They have the you have the light tone, the shadow tone, and then like the the special tone, right? Additional tones. Yeah, just more uh, like turnarounds and stuff like that, showing more detail of how it works. There you go. Mega Injector. Go, oh, Hori san we would like to combine design elements from this and and the storyboard. Please make it cool. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. So this is uh I'm I'm assuming So I think Takafumi Hori is the an animator from uh from uh, Trigger, Studio Trigger. Look at this. Look fucking Christ. This is a problem right here. The binding, man. This is a problem. Damn. Uh, that's okay. But yeah, um, like I said, it, it, so a lot of portions of this were animated by, by uh, Studio Trigger. And that's just a really cool little collaboration that they have. So we have, uh, oh, I'm assuming these are early uh, Spinel concepts. Right. I could see a little bit of a, uh, what's her name, uh, Betty Boop, in this design. Yeah. 
These are cool. Just initial drawings. Seeing older Steven, right? Older Connie. Spinel right here. Here we go. Oh, okay, so we're... Oh, she looks like, um... You know that girl from, uh... Not the, the, uh... There's the daughter in, um... Five Nights at Freddy's, the... The, the ballerina girl who, who gets converted. She, she kind of reminds me of that. There we go. Oh, look at this. This is way... Oh, wow. This is, like, very anime. Look at that. Oh, man, she's so cute in this one. Here we go. And then she's psycho in that one. Yeah. Yeah, we could see, uh... Yeah, her initial designs are very, very cutesy, heart-based. Right? This one seems very, um, another very anime one. Yeah, I guess they went with that heart-shaped head for a long time. Yeah, this one's very, uh, Betty Boop. Something about it. She's, she looks like Shadow the Hedgehog, dude. Look at the shoes. That's fucking Shadow, bro. Holy shit, dude. That's just straight up Shadow. That's hilarious. Oh my god, that's fucking funny. For this this one, she has Amethyst's face for some reason. Here we go. Now we're now we're getting to to real Spinel with her uh, her evil twin tails, <clears throat> right? And then there's the the nice one with her with her on the on the on the top. Yeah. And then there is, uh, there's the original, there's the, uh, anime, then there's the, uh, slightly altered version, where the head is a little bit bigger, the hair shape is a little bigger. Whoa, Skinny Steven? Whoa, that's weird. This is like, uh, this looks like, like, like Tumblr art, Steven. You know what I mean? There we go. We have uh, Spinel in like different poses, right? This one, she's like sad and she's like, blah, 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 blah. you know, she's all drooped out, you know, all noodly. Yeah. I guess these are these are all done by Rebecca. Yeah. Look at that. See, I, I, I am not this kind of artist, man. I am not an art. I'm not a sketch artist. I cannot. I can't just doodle. You know what I mean? Like I, when I set out to do something, I finish it. Um, but I do respect people who can, who can do this kind of stuff and still be able to fin uh, produce finished work, right? Uh, because there's a lot of ideas here, and they could just kind of just draw, however they like, and just like, oh yeah, I, can, I just have a sketchbook, dude. And I can draw or whatever, blah, 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 you know. I am not a person who does that, you know. I I, I, I have sketchbooks, um, but mostly they're like, you know, for like studies. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I, I, I am not a doodler, as it were. But uh, I, I, de I definitely respect people who can doodle like this. I, I can't do it. I don't know why. I just have a tendency to finish it, right? Uh, more skinny Steven, that's, that's strange. Yeah, but you can see her design is starting to get finalized, right? Um, you can see her her vibe, right? She's, a, you can see that she's very tragic. You know, she's she's upset. She has a lot of uh, resentment built up. Very nice. Here we go. Look at that. She's angry. She's she's got her her. Uh, her uh, mascara eyes, right, and her hair like oh, frizzy, you know. You got her uh, her OG happy self, right, cartoony. I always liked how um, in the show she her style, like her kind of like rubber hose uh, style. It 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 almost felt like it went against the show's style. Um, like like she seemed like a an inserted character that didn't like that didn't belong. Right, and it was, 
it was kind of meant to feel that way in the show right like her happy self it's like it's like oh she like at first i was like who's this spinel girl dude she she feels off about like there's something off about her right and then like she has to she uh steven has to pretend to be her friend and shit you know what i mean it's uh it's cool to see both sides of spinel you know before and after pink diamond jesus christ you know pink diamond dude she was a selfish bitch dude jesus christ Christ, dude, she, like, the things that she did, oh my god. And then you see Rose and you're like, like, damn, dude, that's the same, that's the same person, dude. You know what I mean? Look at that. Look at these nice drawings. This has such a nice energy to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, I, I've started to realize that, like, you know, these quick drawings look great because there are final drawings, right? So if you're someone who sketches and you're like, oh yeah, do I want to sketch? You know, you gotta remember that you gotta make finished stuff, right? Because like, like you know, these like you know, in in an artist's mind, you can see like, oh, I'm looking at this, right? And I'm like, this is a sketch, right? Um, but I know that Rebecca has, you know, there's a final product, right? And like, you can see how this can be taken to a final product. Right? But there's a lot of people who just remain in the sketch stage. And, you know, like, um, people who stay like that, they they, uh, they don't make finished drawings. And as a result, like, they, I could totally see how someone would look at this and be like, oh, dude, that's a bad drawing. You know what I mean? Or like, oh, that's a, that's a, it's like a whatever drawing, right? Um, there needs to be the finish to contrast with the, with the sketch, right? It's very important. Right, because like I know this is I know these are good because I know that Rebecca can do like the really finished work and make it look real good, right? <clears throat> Here we go. Whoa, what is what is this design? This looks strange. Here we go. With Spinel, we started with hearts. The earliest drawings of her were just heart with a face we knew she needed to feel old from a different era frozen in time a rubber hose cartoon interacting with a modern cartoon network characters uh, cloying cartoon imagery that we had sworn to avoid like bubbly hearts and cartoon eye eyelashes were suddenly on the table for her yep <clears throat> so like so it the, the way she felt very um like foreign to the style uh, it, it was obviously purposeful you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> this one's pretty cool. This reminds me of, like, Mickey Mouse. <gasps> family! Oh, get out of here. You ain't part of the family. You ain't part of the family! Okay. But I really like this. I really like this design. It's real cute. You know? Uh, I don't know why Steven has this blue shirt with this red. I, it looks really ugly. I don't really like it. And, like, the dark tackies. Khakis. Yeah. Um, I don't know why, I don't know why Amethyst has these, like, white lines. Is this, like, uh, like a costume or some shit? I don't know. Yeah, everybody looks very chibi in this one. Yeah. I, I like, I like this, I like this Spinel design. It's really cute. It, it reminds me of, um, Betty Boop. Yeah, but this one, I, I can see why they went with this one in the overall. Look at that. Again, with a skinny Steven. Wow. Yeah, you can see like the tragedy in her face, dude. Dark rims around her eyes. Wow. Red with embarrassment. Okay. Look at that. This is this is Steven with too much neck. Okay, I'm glad they uh they they lowered his neck a bit. Yeah. Here we go. 
When I'm inventing new characters, I tend to start out with more realistic proportions. From there, I'll push them more and more cartoony until they feel they feel on show. These early concept drawings are from a sketchbook I had with me while traveling to write the demo songs for the movie. We had already brainstormed the Hearthead spinel on Topanga. From there, I started working on this bun hair theory. The eyelashes versus running mascara idea actually predates the write-ups versus upside down heart, which dawned about me a month later. Okay. Yeah, so these are very, very early on. Yeah, look at that. There's a lot of emotion in these. Look at that face, dude. I can see Steven with like, yeah, these more realistic proportions, right? I like this. I like her, her big, like, overalls and this one. Yeah. See, very simple drawings. Very, very, uh, very loose drawings. Nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> they got energy in them. There we go. When it comes to Spinel's powers, Mickey Brewster said it best. Spinel could do anything as long as it's entertaining. Okay. Yeah. And now we're we're starting to get into her uh, her evil design right here when she's when she's pissed. Rah! Yeah. Yeah. I I think she turned out to be a really good character, you know. And she uh, she didn't overstay her welcome. Here we go. Oh, these are really nice drawings. Yeah, I like her with her, her like, clown feet, you know? And her, like, you know, very sharp lines right here. See, I like this drawing, but it's hidden in the binding, bro. What the fuck, dude? Come on. Yeah, I like that expression. I wonder if you can see that. I don't know. Yeah, I, I actually really like these drawings of Spinel. These, these these have a really strong uh, silhouette and shape. They make her way more like villainous. Very good. Here we go. And now we're get, we're kind of getting like a mix of the two, right? Yeah, her with her Reaper scythe. This looks really creepy. I don't know what it is about it. Looks like I got like a clown head. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is these are nice. This is, these are nice drawings right here. Wow. <clears throat> a doll designed for friendship fun games of a different era. Pokey Charming Weird. Okay. Your be your new best friend, Spinel. Wow. S uh, spin- uh. Wow. This binding. Wow. What a- what a fucking issue, bro. Like, you think they try to correct these. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wanna make an art book, dude? I'm gonna, I'm gonna really be paying attention to that whole binding bullshit. There we go. More faces, you know, we have an innocent Spinel, right? A young Spinel. Now your, your new worst enemy Spinel, damn. She's a maniac? Depressive? No trust, no love. She's a sad, toxic character with a lot of, a lot of problems. Yeah. It's sad, really. And it's all because of fucking... Miss, uh... Miss Rose Quartz herself, dude. The sins of the mother! Here we go. Yeah, so this is from, um, Takafumi Hori, who works at, uh... At a, what do you call it? Uh, a trigger, right? Let's put that back there. 
Spinel is an amusing gem with a tinge of madness. She attacks with a fierce, grim, reaper-like scythe, but its slash, its slash creates heart-shaped slot machine tra trails when she swings it. As an animator, I had so much fun drawing her. A creepy gem with both fun and a scary side. Her rubber, rubber hose limbs and wild movements remind me of classic cartoons. This was one of the many reasons I enjoyed drawing her so much. Ideas for action scenes came from Mickey Brewster's storyboards. I really admire her great drawings and rich imagination. Wow. Yeah, you can see um, Takafumi uh, making very like 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 noodly drawings, right? I wish they would like put these on like one page or some shit. Or there we go. Now so this is a little bit easier to digest. Yeah, some of the formatting isn't the best for this book. Yeah, we can see uh, when she's she's going hands right. Oh, yeah, when she's slicing and dicing. It's time. To let her rip. Yeah, you can see her uh, slicing amethyst in half, right? She gets pearl. No, pearl. And she even gets garnet, dude. Damn. Look at that. She pulls out her. Uh, her scythe, right? She's got her wiggly arms. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then she springs back up. Yeah, you could see how, um, with the, with the diff different animators, they, they draw Steven differently. They draw everybody differently. Everybody draws everyone slightly differently. Alright. So we got more spinel drawings. Very nice. Let's make sure. Yep, everything's lined up. Yeah, I like this. I like the touches of a uh, of a uh, marker they got going on here. Very nice. Oh shit, dude! Is this a is this Steg, dude? There you go. Directs infinite well of love and support, Steven's power, courage, and kindness, their universe their universe charm, and the incredible strength of the relationship creates an indomitable rock star. So uplifting that he can literally make you fly. Steg universe. Damn, bro. When um when Steg came up, dude, right? And then uh and there was Opal there, dude. I just bro. I just died, dude. I was like, oh, oh, dude. What, what a, what a fucking beautiful moment, dude. Right. And, and Pearl, and like, this is to awaken Pearl too. And I'm just, I just, ooh, mm, nom, 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 nom. Mm, delicious. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Very, very good. Very delicious. Oh, here we go. So, um, here we go. I think it says right here. In early sketches, I wanted to work a Stegosaurus vibe into Steg's look, but it didn't feel right to lose the long, free-flowing hair that Greg brings to the table. So we revved it a long, a long in the back pompadour. The the pomp had been established for Steven earlier in the series with Steven and the Stevens. I like the thought of bringing some of Greg's hair volume up to the top and front, and working in a big round Steven-style curls. Paul uh, Vileko really tied down with the design and brought this character to life while storyboarding this sequence. Very nice. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you can see early on that they uh, they wanted to do like a Stegosaurus thing, because his name is Steg, right? Um, it looks kind of cool, but it's too... Uh, I think it's a little too hardcore for for Steven and Greg, because they're, they're not very... They're not like that, you know what I mean? So I, I can see why they didn't go for it. He he. This reminds me of um, the character from 
Kill a Kill, the the guy that gets hired to uh, assassinate uh, Satsuki or some shit like that. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm kind of glad they didn't go with this. He looks a little weird in this one. Yeah, the pompadour, lo the long pompadour look is uh, much more preferable. Oh, here we go. <sighs> Boom! And he's ripped, okay? And he's a, he's a thick boy, and he's got four arms, right? Double guitar. And boom, dude. Pearl. <gasps> She's in love, dude. Damn! This, this is what awakens Pearl, dude. I love it. And then, boom, what... The, 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 the thing that I would expect least, dude. Okay. Fucking Opal. Okay. Coming in with a guitar, dude. And then two... Oh! Oh! Dude, I'm getting excited right here, dude. Right here, look at, look at. Boom, boom. She pulls out the guitar right here. And then, boom. Duet. Okay. Damn. Damn. Yeah, and I, I think, uh, yeah, Steven's gem is, uh, slightly malfunctioning, but, uh, they go, they, they go back, dude. They're singing, they're going strong. Look at this guy, dude. Now, this is Steg, bro, okay? I like that they made him, like, thick and ripped. Beautiful. He's got his, he's got his sandals. Damn. Look at that pompadour, man. That pompadour is way too strong. Boom! Oh my goodness. I love his design. I think they did they did an outstanding job, right? Yeah. I think this is someone that uh, both men and women can appreciate, okay, his design. Look at that. That's a daddy right there, dude. Okay. Wow. And him and Opal, dude? That's, that's dank, okay? That's some dank-ass shit. Oh, okay, so th this is the this is the um, Spinel song, right? They're they're charting it out right here. Yeah. Yeah, she's talking about her past and how uh, Pink Diamond did her did her her Pink Diamond thing. You know, left someone in the dust. Right. Yeah, I think we all know someone like Pink Diamond, dude, in real life. Yeah. It's a sad thing to see. Damn. Yeah, just more drawings of Spinel, right? In her, uh, in her most tragic moments, you get to see her, her story, right? See how uh, she, she's standing there, right? Standing there, standing there. There's the overgrowth coming in, right? She was left behind, dude. Spinel is also based on a stuffed animal that I left in the garden when I was a kid. I found it months later, lying on its back. It was a black rabbit, but because it had been left out in the sun, its belly had faded to light gray. It wasn't better or worse, just different. It was the first moment I realized that things could change without me, even if they stayed completely still. I wrote a song about it for Adventure Time called Everything Stays. Partway into working on the movie while drawing Spinel, I suddenly hit, it suddenly hit me that I was writing about this toy again. I suppose I still feel guilty about being so careless with something I thought I loved so much. Damn! That's hitting those notes, bro. <laughs> In the soul, dude. Okay. Damn. Look at this, dude. Because look at how happy Spinel is, dude. Okay. And then just boom, abandoned. Okay. I don't want to play with you anymore. <sighs> no. Damn. See, that's why I like Steven, man. It has this, you know, <clears throat> it takes the appearance of like, you know, a wholesome cartoon, but uh, 
you know, it is wholesome, but, like, it has these real, like, deep emotional, you know, thoughts, dude, you know, about insecurity and, and all that shit, dude. Abandonment issues, okay? Fucking Christ, dude. <clears throat> that shit'll fuck you up, dude. <laughs> the real problems in life. <clears throat> emotional hang-ups, ah. You know? Damn. So we gotta look at that, dude. Look at that expression, man. Look at the sadness in her eyes, bro. She's just, she's just desperate, dude. She just wants to be loved. Ah! The story of 2020, dude. Damn. Damn. How? When did this come out? Was this 2019? 2018? I, I feels like it's been forever. Yeah, here we go. We get the now we're getting the storyboard of when she when she reveals herself. Reveals her story. Oh my goodness. Damn, dude. She used to have fun with with Rose and but then eventually, dude, she let go, damn. Damn, dude. Yeah, and then she she grew hard into the ground. She saw Steven's message. Rose is gone, dude. It's been hundreds of years, dude. And look, look at that face, bro. Look at that expression, dude. Just broken, dude. <laughs> Damn. And now she's like, she has that apathetic look on her face. We all been there, Spinel. We all been there. Damn. She's trying her best to please Rose, dude, but you know Rose, man. You know Rose, okay? Nothing's good enough for her. Nothing's good enough for this bitch! Damn, dude. I love how Rose is, like, like the biggest villain in the entire show, dude. Not even, not even fucking White Diamond. Okay, look at that. Look at that expression, dude. That pain, dude. Okay. Like, there's, like, that slight, like, hesitation to show, you know what I mean? Oh my goodness. There we go. Yep, there's her, her little playhouse, you know? Damn. And here's, uh, here's the, the song, <clears throat> if you wanna play it, and uh, the lyrics right there as well. Yeah, you can see the overgrown, or not, this is the, this is before it's overgrown, I think, yeah. The garden. Fucking rose, dude, and now, now it's all dilapidated, you know, overgrown, left there to, to just rot away. Yeah. Hate to see it, man. Jeff Lou storyboarded this fight sequence between Steven and Spinell. For the people, including me, who have been watching the show, there is no doubt about Jeff's incredible ideas and reputation skills. Representation skills. This is another simply amazing sequence by him. Spinell's actions are awesome, and both Steven and Spinell's facial expressions convey their feelings very well. Though Spinell's battle style is comical, like when her hands get bigger and she spins around and round, I worked hard to. In Ensure my drawings would not ruin the tense atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. So dynamic, dude. Damn, dude, and she's just fucking. She's such a such a sad character, dude. And then Steven, dude, he's being Steven, dude. He's like, listen, bro. We ain't gotta fight, dude. We can make a change, dude. Oh damn, dude. All emotional hang-ups, dude, in this world, dude. Uh We don't have to stay stagnant. Damn. 
I was so glad and very honored to work on these two brilliant artists' storyboards and to be part of my favorite show again. While I was working on it, I was listening to song demos made by Rebecca. They're also so good. I, I want everyone to listen to them. Please make a soundtrack album. Thank you so much. Damn. Damn, dude. What is this? Yeah, yeah. This is the, the end end credits. Where I have everyone uh, bowing at the, at the performance that was just made. Okay, and I'm I'm bowing right now, dude. Very good, dude. And I'm, I'm a, sorry. I'm clapping. Oh, oh. So good. Right. There we go. And uh, that's that's it. This is the back cover. <clears throat> Get a couple drawings. Boom. Here we go. Happily ever after, here we are. Look at that. This book's only 20 bucks. So it's, it's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal for what you're getting, honestly. Um, yep. So we have the back cover here. We have Steven, you know, holding Spinel. She's she's sad and shit. You know how it is, bro. And uh whew. What what a, what an emotional journey, dude, just like the movie, okay? So uh, let's let's flip this over and then we can start the review portion. All right. Let's uh, enter the review portion, guys. Um <clears throat> I got to say that this book uh I had a really good time, you know. Um I'm a huge fan of the series. I I love I love the drawings in here. Getting a kind of a peek behind the curtains uh, of the comment with the commentary. Just had a real good time with this book. Um, if you're a Stephen fan, I could easily recommend it to you guys. If you're a fan of animation and like the process behind it, you're a fan of the movie. Uh, I I could easily recommend it to you guys. Right. It's cheap. It's only 20 bucks, and uh, you're getting a pretty robust package. I'm pretty sure on on Amazon it's probably like 15 bucks now. It's 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 cheap. You could get it. Um, the only problem I could see is like the binding, right? But that's a lot of books have that problem. The paper quality is nice. You know, it's dark horse, so you know that they do. Um, they do a very comprehensive. You know, they they take all the pictures, the, all the drawings, right? Um, you know, it's it's not. It's not like necessarily like uh, most books, right? Where you have like you know um, everything structured very well. You have like the turnarounds, all that stuff. This is more of the like building blocks, the ide the ideation phase, right? Uh, very similar to the previous Stephen art book, um, but I think this was just a a real neat book. I think I could easily recommend it to you guys. It's it's small, it's short and sweet. Um, and it has a good amount of art, has a good amount of commentary, uh, and it shows in like like you, you just saw, dude. I had a very uh, a very nice ride going through it, you know. And you feel the emotions, you feel the you know the flow of the movie, you feel the inspiration behind it. You, there's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of meat on these on these bones, as it were, right? Um, so yeah, I think uh, I think with that said, I think we could end the review here, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, right? Uh, please uh, leave a like on the video, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, um, leave a comment, tell me how you guys feel about the Steven Universe movie and the art behind it, um, ring that bell for notification, all that bullshit, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.